Hi, I'm Chart Gal Lori. I'm part of the Chart Guys community. I've been a trader and technical analyst for the last eight and a half years. If you want to give me a follow on X at Chart Gal Lori, that would be lovely. I'm going to bring you a market recap for Thursday, October 24th. We have Tesla up 22%. It went total full send on us. Huge day after earnings. We had NVIDIA was green and a lot of the semiconductors sector was green and software was green and technology. Looking at the economic calendar for tomorrow, we just have durable good, goods orders, not a whole lot there. Let's take a look at the charts, which we love, starting with ES. So on ES, we have a daily inside bar, a four hour equilibrium, four hour higher low is likely set at 5822.50 can we get a four hour higher high compared to 584275 this four hour equilibrium will be important going into tomorrow nasdaq was the leader today we're up 0.82 percent we were only up 0.26 percent on es so on nasdaq we got that four hour higher low set again can we get a four hour higher high on the daily, it is a daily inside bar. We're neatly inside last week's range, excuse me, yesterday's range. And for the weekly chart, we have plenty of room for a weekly higher low. On RTY, RTY, we're bouncing again from the daily 50 MA with a, another daily inside bar. We have a four hour equilibrium here as well. It was slightly green on the day. At this point, an hourly lower high is the more likely scenario compared to 22.43. Dow was red. We are firmly below the hourly 12 EMA, and we have an air pocket between price and the four, and the four hour 12 EMA. It just shows the bear momentum to the downside. We are in a daily downtrend and we're looking for a weekly higher low. So we did not get a daily inside bar on the Dow. The Dow broke the low of the prior day, again, standing out weak. VIX, we got a daily inside bar. VIX is red and we have an hourly downtrend. And we have a four hour equilibrium going into tomorrow. So our high today, 2024. And the low of support is 1863 four hour double bottom. Bitcoin was super strong today, stood out among all of our leaders. Four hour uptrend, daily higher low is now set at 65149. Can we get a higher high compared to 69498? Let's do a fib pull on this. Well, let's try to do a fib pull. Okay, yep, it's set. We retraced about 57, 58% of this move. So a lower high is possible compared to 69498. And that really helped the crypto stocks. MSTR got a new all-time high today. We're closing up at the high of day and all-time high. Coin, we're closing up near the high of day. We had a strong day in recovery from that data leak low day that we had, uh, let's see, Tuesday, I believe, was the data leak, and then we had some continuation to the downside yesterday. Well, today we had a nice recovery, close, closing up near the high of day. Ethereum had a green day. It is not as strong as Bitcoin. We don't have a four-hour trend change yet. The dollar had a red day. We are looking for a four hour lower high on the next bounce on the dollar. The dollar is finally showing some sustained weakness. Gold benefited from that. However, gold could be a four hour bearish diamond reversal pattern here. So we have a, equilib a four hour equilibrium. If this were to resolve to the downside, it could confirm this four hour diamond bearish reversal pattern. Overall, gold bulls are pleased with this recovery. We need to get over 27.56 to change the trend to the bulls. Oil, we have a four hour downtrend. Daily high is likely set. We are looking for that weekly higher low. We got a four hour trend change. Did that set that weekly higher low at 68.17? That remains to be seen. On the hourly, we are in a downtrend looking for a lower high. And we've made enough room for a higher low. 
in my estimation, oil is in no man's land. We have a lot of mixed signals here, a lot of misdirection where we have a trend change and then we give it back up, trend change, give it back up. Uh, lots of probing for liquidity to the upside and to the downside. And we see that a lot with weekly inside bars or daily inside bars. Wherever you have an inside bar, bulls and bears are probing for liquidity as volume goes down as your range bound. Semis is closing green. We have a daily inside bar on semis as well. Semis could be a daily head and shoulders here. Not the neatest right shoulder, but it is still a head and shoulder shape nonetheless. On the 15 minute, we, are, we have an uptrend to the bulls, but we're unable to get near the high of day. So tomorrow will be interesting with the size of yesterday's range, then we break, broke above it today. Actually, we didn't, that happened in pre-market. Yeah, sorry about that. That happened in pre-market. So we're still neatly inside yesterday's range. Duh, it's a daily inside bar. So we'll see if we stay range bound tomorrow. AMD, we were blocked by the hourly 50 MA looking for an hourly lower high. And on the four hour, we have a downtrend that continues on AMD as bulls still wait for that weekly higher low. They're grow growing old, waiting for that weekly higher low. AMD has just been heavy. NVIDIA has a nice close here. On the four hour, on the hourly, we're still below the EMAs. And on the four hour, we have an equilibrium below the 12 hour, excuse me, the 12 EMA. On the daily, we're closing with an inside bar. TSM got some positive news toward the end of the day that Air, their Arizona fabrication is higher than their Taiwan fabrication. So if there were, were to be some type of stop on imports that could help that they're producing just as many on, in Arizona, that helped with a temporary spike into close. Bulls were unable to hold on to that spike uh, and we closed down on the day 1.4%. Apple. Apple's closing with a daily inside bar. Yesterday we had such a large range, that's not a surprise. Four hour 12 EMA is well above the price and on the hourly we're struggling with the 12 EMA. Again, Tesla, let's just sit and admire this chart. On the two week, the equilibrium continues. 26486 is the level to break or the tighter we go on the two-week equilibrium. Bulls will be watching for back burner trades on Tesla tomorrow, looking for five and 15 minute oversold conditions during regular trading hours. XLF closed green. We broke the prior day low by two pennies and then promptly bounced. We're still looking for more confirmation that that daily higher low is set and we don't have that yet. XLV continues to move to the downside in this weekly downtrend, looking for the four hour, the weekly higher low and four hour oversold back here did not mark that weekly higher low. So it may take daily oversold to mark the potential weekly higher low. XLV cannot find a bottom. Netflix was able to break over the prior day high, but without a lot of fanfare, Excuse me, they were able to break over the prior weekly high, but on the daily, we're closing with an inside bar. That's what I get for changing time frames so fast. On the four hour, we're right at the 12 EMA. Bulls have been digesting this ER move here, the earnings release move, and we're holding up pretty well. We still haven't retraced more than 38% of that move. Microsoft closing flat on the day. We are looking for that daily higher low. On the hourly, we're closing right above the 50 MA. Bulls are not giving up just yet. ARC closing up at the high of day. One of their major holdings is Tesla. They've made enough room for a four hour higher low on the next pullback. And then finally, Caterpillar, I posted in the room this morning. This is a nice, neat weekly potential bull flag. Four hour got oversold this morning 
and that marked the low of the bounce and we got a nice bounce into the end of day so if you wanted to buy a potential pullback compared to the low of today 382.22 looking for that weekly higher low and put your stop below the low of today 382.22 that would make sense to me all right that is it for your market recap